These are new. These are little booties and gloves that are waterproof that I can put over my shoes and wear when it's just really, really rainy all day long. And today I'm just doing a final repack this morning and just making some final decisions about what I'm taking with me. I really went overboard on the wet and warm weather gear that I brought. So I think I'm going to leave the booties behind because <laughs> I don't think I'm going to use them. Um. Well, I was just about to set off for today and I was putting things on my bike. And before I even got on, I punctured the tire on something and just heard the air streaming out. I've just thrown a plug in it's the back tire. I'm going to throw some air in and see what happens here. I'll show you where the plug is. <laughs> There's where the puncture happened. The plug I just put in. Let's hope it holds up. Well, we are back in business, hopefully. I've just pumped up the tire and the plug seems to be holding. So fingers crossed. What an odd beginning to the day. <laughs> I've just taken a moment to de-layer and I thought I'd just throw a tiny bit more air in and it seems to be holding up okay so fingers crossed and yeah good morning <laughs> oh well I had a lovely stay last night um, just outside Garstang at a beautiful old B&B &B again and tonight I'm headed to Penrith where there's quite a famous cyclists hostel that I'll be staying at hopefully if the bike and I make it <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I've got a decision to make about which way I go through Scotland. I've been looking at the maps and looking at a bunch of options and gosh, the whole country just looks incredible. And I really, I clearly am going to need to come back and do more because <laughs> I don't have enough time to do everything I want to do, um, before I need to get back to London for a work thing. So we'll make a decision tonight and go with it and know that I can always return. Um, but yeah. All right. Carrying on then. Hope that my tire holds up and I'm looking forward to this lovely day of countryside riding, albeit with a bunch of hills. Okay. More soon. had to stop for a second because this is just so gorgeous even on a rainy day it's just charming and so beautiful here at Devil's Bridge, original bridge from the 13th or 14th century, I think 14th century. Crazy. I've just come around the bend and I just, my jaw just dropped at this scene, which is apparently now a school. Oh, here's that same church just from the other direction. My gosh, it's just stunning. Well, hello from the beautiful town of Sedberg where I've just warmed up and taken a break from what's been a very rainy day so far. Had a lovely cup of soup and a coffee and now I'm getting ready to get back out there. <laughs> Looks like the rain's let up a little bit, which is really nice, but the forecast is heavy rain all day, so I'm just kind of expecting that. Um, but it's been really, really beautiful. So yeah, all right, onward. I 
I've just come out of a bit of a hill out of Stedberg and it's so nice to have a break in the rain for this view. It's just a classic pastoral setting. So lovely. I mean, oh my gosh, the setting. I'm sure it's beautiful in the sun too, but it's actually stunning in this rain. have been the most torrential rain I have ever experienced. I've never been so wet in my entire life. I'm just beginning to feel my feet again as I stand in here like a sauna. I'm just so grateful to be here. This is the hostel, the Wayfarers Hostel in Penrith that's sort of famous among cyclists doing journeys like this in the UK. It's totally set up for cyclists. So there's an amazing bike storage room and a bike pump and tools and then this drawing room for exactly this situation and I'm so happy <laughs> so so happy um, yeah I wasn't able to take any photos or videos through the last few hours because it was torrential rain and my phone wasn't able to charge because the charging cable was too wet and so the phone recognized that and wouldn't accept a charge um, and it got really low on battery, so I just um, stopped using it and uh, preserved what I could to make sure I could find my way here when I got to Penrith. And yeah, I'm just so happy, so happy to be here. It's so nice to be warming up again and feeling my feet again after the last few hours of freezing rain and crazy wind. The wind was going in my direction though for the most part. It was it varied between a crosswind and I like got waterlogged left ear and an amazing tailwind. So I was really grateful for that. Um, yeah, so happy to be here. All right, more later. <laughs>